if you are on limited income, what I do is I get sponsors, as we do every year. So sometimes we can get uh, uh, get folks that are on limited income for free. So the people that would like to be with us, but they can't, and uh, so they'll yeah. they'll sponsor us to say go go march for me. Would you go march for me? So anyhow, I'll be promoting that more and more on the radio. But if, if, if you're interested in doing that, then let us know now. Uh, this year, what we're going to do, for some of you folks that say, well, gee, I don't know if I can, I want to go down and I want to be a part of all of that, and I want to be there, but I don't know if I can make that march. Okay? Uh, well, you can, uh, you can stand the bus and watch the march. The next day, Saturday, all of the government offices will be closed. So, Instead of having to walk everywhere, the bus driver uh, can, can drop us off. You've got all of these different museums to go to, a lot of you've never been there. To, so, uh, and we go over often to Arlington. If you've never been to Arlington National, we go over there. And, but, but you don't have to walk miles and miles. You know. you just uh, We give you a, a location to be at when it's time to go back. And so far, uh, I've brought everybody that we left with, I brought them back. And, uh, we had some close calls, though. I had one guy who was constantly uh, not paying attention to making us wait on him. So what I did when we were at the Holocaust Museum, uh, there he was, he was late again, and I waited till he come out. And when he got up close, I told the bus driver, start driving off slowly. So I made him chase the bus for about two blocks. And then after that, all the way back, he was always the first one on the bus when we were ready to leave. So that worked out. But then we got a guy back there named Coupon Ken. He came within seconds and, uh, of uh, Pastor Tom. I assigned Pastor Tom to keep an eye on Coupon and make sure he was there. I thought it was the other way Pastor, around. <laughs> he gave Pastor Tom the slip. And uh, he was, he made it back and he was all upset. He said, I don't know how he gave me, I turned around for one minute and he was gone. <laughs> and Coupon made it back within, within about 10 seconds of the time we were pulling out. So he just made it back in time. But we don't have any boring days down there, do we, Peg? No. One time Peg said to me, when we stopped at a McDonald's, and I was waiting, watching everyone get up, and I happened to be standing next to one of the trash bins. And Peg said, do you remember that? And you said to me, is this what you do hanging around? What are you doing hanging around the trash bin? I said, this is where I meet blondes. <laughs> <laughs> and you never asked me that again, did you? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm smarter than I look, folks, huh? You have to be. You know, you have to be, right? Yeah. But anyhow, we always have a good time. And Peg, I'll take there. She is uh, the one that helps us get everything organized. So see her if you want to go to this thing. See her. And if, if finances is a hard thing, sometimes we can get you some some help. We have a lot of people out there that will sponsor. So let us know. We normally go down with about 45 people. All right. Now. This is a Thanksgiving Day dinner, so how many have a word of praise for the good Lord? Let's, let's start. Did you have your hand up? Well, let's yes. start over here. Go ahead. Well, ladies before gentlemen, go ahead, Grandma. All right. Thank you, dear Lord, for the blessings of these people, our attendants. Let them come forth and spread the word in the neighborhood wherever they are, that our nation shall survive all the struggle that we are going through at this moment. Bless this food to our use and ourselves to thy service. For Christ's sake and the proposition that all men are created equal in spirit, in body, we have to muster the minds of these people so that they know that ISIS has no place mm. in our land. Amen. This day Amen. forward, so let it be according to the first settlers of the United States of America. Amen. Mm -hmm. Donna? 
Don, did you <coughs> need a praise? Yes, well, of course, obviously we need to praise the Lord every day, but uh, we're thankful we could be here, and especially for travel mercies, because there was a time when, a little bit before we got here, it didn't look good. Yeah. And I know I thank God that he had a fellow stop, because we, we couldn't get up the hill. Mm -hmm. Just his little bit of help and the help of the Lord were here. Praise the good Lord. His mercies are daily, aren't they? Yes. Yeah. Who else has a word of praise out here today? I have one. Yes. Thank the Lord that I was able to make it today because I had some very serious problems during the past few days. And yesterday, especially after we left you. And I'm still sort of sliding back a little bit, but I think I'll make it with his help. Well, that's why we're, we're here, you know. We often will have to, uh, uh, for some of our elderly folks that uh, are not in the best of health, like, you know, we were there yesterday morning, we, I ended up taking him up to his doctor, but he got it all straightened out, didn't he? I think so. Now I have the other doctor straighten him out. <laughs> <laughs> all right. And Frank, you were out there. You helped the leaves. You got the leaves. So. You did a great job. I get I get uh, letters from the uh, senior citizens, of the Department of Aging, out here all the time, wanting to know why none of our people are volunteering to come down to the Department of Aging. And finally, I call them and I says, "We've been doing what you're asking us to do already for years." Okay, mm -hmm. and, you know we do that all the time, every you know week in and week out. And, uh, but there's there's so many out there. A lot of these churches don't do anything. Right. About that. But we praise the good Lord. That's placing up crowns in heaven, huh? And John? I'd just like to thank the Lord for the radio ministry. What a wonderful effect it's had on our community around here. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, we've been, uh, it's been a blessing, I can tell you that, that radio. That's the strongest pro-life weapon we've had in, in the area. Before we had that radio, we had it in the early days, boy, I tell you what, we had a lot of trouble with corrupt police departments. But, uh, you know, I, I just went right after them on the air, and that, that just backed them. And they, they just scared to death of the media. They really are. Yeah, Kuban. I'm thankful for all of our church family.